This was supposed to be a practice game to learn Unity before my cyberpunk MMO. And I thought it'd be done in three months, and now it's been three and a half years. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the architecture is really interesting. You know, originally I chose to stay in Chicago after school for art reasons. Like I wanted to, you know, go into the art world and New York and LA both seemed like too much at the time. Yeah, there's a, there's a ton of influences. The joke is Chicago is the place to be if New York is where you want to be. Yeah, I like the idea of having sort of parts of my life into the game. And so what's, what's nice is that Chicago has a lot of great architecture. Uh, you know, Frank Lloyd Wright's from Oak Park. So this is a book on Japanese architecture. And what I often like to do is just browse these. And oftentimes the way I'll start designing a level is I'll, I'll find something visually that I like and I'll try to recreate it, but it won't work out exactly like this. So for example, the game doesn't have any curves, it doesn't have any angles. So this means that a lot of what I see in this image, for example, is not going to be possible, but I try to make it work with the art style of my game. Oh, uh, it's the architecture section. Manifold Garden is a counterfactual physics game. So it's imagining a world where the laws of physics are completely different. And I describe it as a metaphor for the last 400 years of physics in like starting from where Newton learns gravity to getting to Einstein where he's thinking about the shape of the universe. Something happened, they destroy the previous regime's temples and take the parts and build new ones. Um, so you ended up getting this very interesting mixture of style that evolved over time. Arata Isozaki's work. Ah, so I, have a, I actually have a level based on this. It was never built, it was like a conceptual piece, but this works very well in the game. Taking pieces from Japanese architecture. Tadao Ando is basically my favorite architect. It's so simple, but it feels incredibly powerful. Because of the mechanics and game design, it ends up being completely different by the end of it. That sort of mixing you know, level design needs and puzzle design needs and sort of ideas I want to convey with architecture, we end up getting something very different. This seems like a really interesting medium. I have a computer. How hard can it be? I don't know if I'm gonna make another game after this. I think it's an incredible medium, but for me, this project was never a way for me to go into game development. I actually went to school um, for physics, and one day I decided I wanted to learn to juggle. And that doesn't, that's not super far off, because there's actually a big correlation between like mathematicians and jugglers. There was this group on campus called Jelly, Jugglers Enriching Lives Like Yours. And I went to one of their practices and learned how to juggle. And there was also a circus. One time they needed an extra body for a show. They had two people juggling knives, passing knives with each other and they wanted a body lying on the floor beneath the knives on a bed of nails. They got me to do that. Yeah, we like him a lot. We, he came to our office, which was an apartment. But he came in with a very early prototype. I don't remember how he got in touch with us, but like he was like, hey, can I bring this by? I just started making games. I learned to do balloon animals on the side. It's like if you, you know, it's like majoring and juggling and then getting a minor in balloons. And I want your advice or your feedback or whatever. And we are like, sure, <laughs> why not? And then he came back with that first prototype, which was pretty rough. Uh, it's come like a really long way. I don't know, he's just like a very smart person. <laughs> and is like very motivated and does a very good job of adapting to like new situations. Like I think he's been a juggler and like he did some um, installation art. The last year I was actually able to work as an installation artist full time 
uh, just going from commission to commission. I wasn't making much, but I was paying my rent. Um, and so that was enough. But by the end of that, it felt very much like I had gotten typecast as the balloon guy. And now he's making video games, and we talked to him before about like, he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go be like a chef next. Go to culinary school. I'm like, okay, Willie, cool. I don't think I could have made Manifold Garden without the Chicago indie scene. Almost every aspect of the development process of the game, whether it's PR or design or tech, there is someone I can go to ask, and everybody has been super open about sharing their process. Hey, Afix, how's it going? It's been a while. Wow, today we've got almost 60 people in the stream today. For those of you that are gonna be in, I don't know if any of you are going to be in Chicago this weekend, but Bitbash is happening. So you guys should go and check that out. I think I will be there. I haven't decided yet. Valve had, was giving out Portal for free if you downloaded Steam, but I never got around to playing it until a year later. So that was the first game I played in about 10 years. And I thought, okay, well, they have one mechanic. It's about 20 levels. Yeah, that sounds like three months of work. <laughs> um, and I remember going in thinking I was gonna make the next Portal. And so three months later, it, was a disaster, but the core of it was kind of interesting. And after six months, I, I thought I had, you know, there was something very interesting and I, I refined a lot of it. So it was like three months and then six months. And then I was like, okay, I'll give it another year. And now, now it's, um, I, I have a deadline, but I'm, I'm also, um, it, it also feels like it's starting to come together now. I call it a counterfactual physics game, which is that uh, it like, it asks the question. Oh, no, that explains it. You don't have to go any further. <laughs> it's basically asking, like, what if the <laughs> fundamental rules of physics were yeah. different? Okay. Yeah. It was based on that scene in Inception where they fold Paris in half and start walking up the wall. So I thought that would make for a great mechanic. So the game starts you off there. You learn that you can change gravity, walk on wall, walk on ceiling. And then once you get outside, you find that the world actually wraps around on itself. So when you fall off, you don't die, there's no death. There's simply another version of the world beneath you that you land on. It's like when you stand between two mirrors and you see infinite versions of yourself. It's that way in every single direction. I actually look around now and everything my eyes, like everything I'm looking at is related to the game. Which is pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I went and picked up a bunch of poetry books because I was trying to write the store description. Rediscover gravity and explore an Escher-esque world of impossible architecture. I had a really, really tough time with that. I think it took me a few months to write. Witness infinity in first person and master its rules to solve physics-defined puzzles. Some people helped me, worked with a, with a writer for a while, but eventually I felt like it needed to come from myself. Cultivate a garden to open new path forward where an eternal expanse awaits. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I don't think of it as my game anymore. For a long time, it felt like I was sort of like carrying this game on my back. But now it, it feels like I'm just, like the game has enough momentum and it, it, it knows what it wants to be. And I'm just sort of helping to carry it along. I'd very much like to, would like for Manifold Garden to help contribute to forming what the Chicago game scene is about. If you had told me that this game would have taken four years when I started, I would have said no. Like, I don't think I could have really focused on a project for four years, but now I know that that's something that's, that I can do. And I wanted to do it right, and in order to, and it just turns out games is such a large medium that in order to do it right, you have to be fully engrossed in it. Because I don't know if I'm going to make another game, I really want to get this one right. And I want it to be something that the designers and developers I respect will like it as well. I feel like I've grown tremendously, yeah.